What's going on, everybody? It is Alex from Everything for iPod. Welcome to the next episode of uh, Hackintosh Build 2012, or the Hackintosh Project. Um, in this video, we're doing another unboxing of my graphics card. I picked the EVGA GeForce GTX 550 Ti. And actually, I kind of wish I would have gotten the 560 because that's more Mac compatible uh, for Mountain Lion and from what I understand there are some problems with this one. We'll see how it goes. If I need to replace it, I'll swap it out for the 560 Ti. Hopefully I don't run into any problems, but if I do, I'll just send it back and uh, get another one. So uh, here it is. Um, pretty nice packaging. So uh, let's just not waste any time. Let's cut right into the shrink wrap. I will... Um, if you missed out on any videos, first of all, there's a link in the description to the official playlist where you can go and watch all of the videos. If you haven't already, subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the upcoming episodes if you're watching this pretty close to when it comes out. And also, I will put the link to where I bought this on Newegg in the description. Um, So you just get like a little, I just read that real fast, uh, do not return to store if you're having an issue. Um, if I return it, it's not because I'm going to be having an issue, it is because I ordered the wrong thing. And I think I have to open it from the other side. Let's see. Yep. Alright, so, here we go. I'm going to just pull out the contents. We've got the actual graphics card right there. Um, looks like a little manual. We'll get into that in a second. We'll take a look at all this. Let me just get make sure I have everything. And there's one more thing in here that I can't seem to get out, so we're going to grab it from this side. There we go. So here's everything. I'm going to throw the box down on the floor. Uh, first of all, we have our graphics card user guide with some information, and it also looks like they give us a, I don't know if you can see it, let me see if I can slide it out, inside of the software DVD, or the software disc, um, you have a little emblem that says powered by EVGA that you can stick on the computer, maybe I'll use that, probably not, um, but first of all, let's just take a look at the card here. And I'll go ahead and open this up. Okay, give me one second here. Here is the card. Um looks pretty nice. That's a nice looking card. I'm going to leave the plastic wrap on for now uh, simply because I don't want to... Um, I'm not installing it until a few days from now. But here it is. A little bit closer up. Um, on the back we've got a mini HDMI and two DVI outs. So here's the card. Let's go ahead and slip this back into the bag as I won't be needing it for uh, a few days until I get the build going. And I hope I get to keep this card. Um, it really will be a pain to swap it out for a different one. From what I understand, it has sleep-wake issues running on Hackintosh, but we'll see how things go. I'm not really going to be too much do doing too much gaming on the Hackintosh portion. Any gaming I do will be on the PC partition, so maybe I'll be able to get away with it. Um, inside of here, I'm not going to open this just because I don't know uh, if I'll be needing it, but it looks like I've got a connector there to two connectors on that side. I'll look I'll look into what that's for. I don't really know yet. Again, I'm new to this, uh, so you're you know just at the same level I am, if not above it. And this is a DVI to VGA adapter in case you're using a VGA display. So that'll come in handy um, for some people. I'm not going to be needing that. That's pretty much it, so just running through it again, you get the actual graphics card right here. Again, the, e the EVGA GeForce GTX 550 Ti. Um, you get a DVI to VGA converter, a cable, user guide, quick start guide, as well as a CD 
this is a driver software installation and a um, powered by, uh, I don't know if that says, what is it? Oh, it's not even stuck in there. There we go. Here's a quick look at it. Uh, let's see if we can get that up in close focus there. Powered by EVGA. And you can go ahead and stick that on your computer. I don't think I'm going to be using this just because I want to keep a clean look on the computer. So uh, here's everything that comes with it. Again, don't forget to subscribe. Stay tuned for more build videos and unboxings and everything like that. And I will see you in my next video.